Happy Friday, everyone. Hopefully you're doing well. I'm excited to be going through these two cards because these two cards are two bonkers cards. For these two cards, I think is is why you should buy the Wasp Hero Pack. Actually, Ironheart from yesterday and these two cards and, and maybe one more. The, the Wasp Hero Pack is bonkers strong. Today, we're going to be talking about an ally that I personally love. I stopped using for a while and I'm not, I'm not, I know why I did because I just like newer, shinier cards, but it's a super strong ally, super, super good. And then the other card we're going to be talking about is a card that still to this day is talked about if this card broke the game or not. And I don't know if it broke the game, but it definitely changed like the meta of the game, right? Definitely, in my opinion, did. So I'm excited to talk about both these cards. Uh, before we dive into it, do me a huge favor. Make sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe, turn on notifications. Uh, leave comments about these cards because I think these are two, two of the most talked about cards. Uh, maybe not as much anymore, but definitely, quote unquote, back in the day. It was, right? Uh, it was definitely talked about a lot. The one card I think is still talked about if it broke the game or not. Let's go check out these cards. The first one we're talking about is Miles Morales, Spider-Man Basic Ally. It's a three cost ally, one threat removal with one consequential damage, two attack with two cons or one consequential damage. Sorry, so it's a one, one, two stat line uh, with three life. Not a great stat line, right? Doesn't really mean much. But after you play Spider-Man from your hand, right? Miles Morales, Spider-Man, choose thwart or attack. Spider-Man gets plus two for the chosen power until the end of the phase. What? Okay. Like, yeah. Yes, please. Like, that is super strong to be able to thwart for three on a basic card or attack for four. Now, people have figured out ways to basically ready up this card through a you know, different means of usually in leadership or something like that. If you can ready up this card, because it's not for that activation, it's for that phase. So if you can play this for three and ready it up, so it would do four damage and then four damage again, like three, three for eight damage and then a block. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm on board or being able to remove six threat in total, three off of one scheme, three off of another. Like it's, it's crazy what you can do with this card. It's a really good card. I see it less and less in decks nowadays. And it's because it's probably because it's a champion's trait and people don't build off of champions that much. And we need more champion cards, in my opinion. Uh, but still, it's it's a good card. It's a really good card. It's still one of those cards I still throw in now and again, uh, even though I think it's a little too strong. Uh, but I still like playing it. It's still a good card. It's still a fun card. Make sure you check out this card if you have not. Uh, I know a lot of people that have gotten into the game nowadays don't play it as much because it's not used as much it's kind of one of those weird cards that you just kind of put in your basic deck um to, to get the extra ally in for whatever you need i think it's really really good but you could make the argument the worst thing about this is it doesn't like quote unquote synergize really well with like certain aspects of what you're trying to do like if you're trying to do like an avenger deck or a web warrior deck so i get that argument this card is the card that lost a th launched a thousand think pieces and that is the power in all of us it's a resource card and a basic resource card max two per deck Double the number of resources this card generates when paying for a basic gray card. D20, why did this break the deck? It's just no different than the power of aggression or the power of leadership. Well, here's the thing. Basic cards are really strong. They're really strong and they're a bit expensive. And that was like the gimmick with it, right? Is that, okay, you get like Avengers Mansion, which is a four cost support and lets you draw cards, but the, you know, to pay for four, that's really expensive. Well, what if you could get the power in all of us in another double? and really kind of lean into your basic cards and it just makes all your basic cards just a bit cheaper right being able to play it now essentially having five doubles for all your basic cards when this card started come, or when this card came out you started seeing more decks that were built around just using basic al or basic decks right they wouldn't even pick an aspect like uh, technically you have to but you don't have to use any cards from that aspect so i've done it with hulk where i've just done a, a basic gray hulk and i said that was aggression but i didn't put any aggression cards in it the reason you can do a lot of that stuff now is because of cards like this. It's a crazy strong card. And it just, again, because basic cards at this time were good, solid cards, but they were just like a little bit expensive, right? Just like a little bit expensive. And this just helped with that so much. Uh, people argue that it's no different. The other side of the coin, I should say, is that people argue that it's no different than any of the other Power of All of Us cards, or not Power of All of Us, Power of Aggression cards or Power of Leadership, Power of Justice, whatever. It's no different than any of those cards. I disagree because, again, basic cards are pretty strong overall, right? We just talked about Miles Morales. Miles or Miles Morales Spider-Man. If I'm paying that with a, a great card to lower the cost, like, yes, please. That's a huge card. Being able to get Helicarrier out cheaper. Being able to get, um, like I said, Avengers Mansion out cheaper. 
learn soon we'll learn about queen carrier and all that stuff like being able to get those cards out for a cheaper amount and being able to put more doubles like it's just it's it's such a strong card so anyway i don't know if some people claimed it broke the game i don't think it quote unquote broke the game but it definitely made some basic cards i think a little maybe a little too powerful like I said, this whole power in all of us is kind of a hot topic issue. Uh, so let me know your thoughts. Do you think this this broke the, broke the game or changed the meta or whatever? Or maybe you think it didn't really make a difference. Maybe it's just exactly what it seems like. It's completely fine and whatever, right? It's not that big of a deal. Let me know down below. I'm kind of interested in that stuff. Like I said, it's Friday. I'll see you all on Monday with more of these videos. If you haven't checked out the Patreon page or the Medium page for blog posts, make sure you do. I appreciate all your support. And I'll see you all next week.